Hello YouTube and welcome to Diecast for you to see and for you to see today is some box opening we've got six boxes to open so I'm going to go through these as quick as I can and we're starting with a Hot Wheels team transport box um, I display quite a few of the cars but not too many of the trucks But the cars are quite nice in some of the sets and this one is a very nice set it's the 65 Ford Galaxy on the Ford C800 and that looks really smart in this nice blue and white nice card art as well and I do like these galaxies, they've done quite a few but I do like them and I do like these trucks as well so pretty pleased with that one and next one out is this Nissan Silvia S15 on the aero lift truck which is not a truck I particularly like um, the Nissan looks pretty good so I do quite like that combo but not the truck unfortunately and there's the card art will be a duplicate I think in this one and this is the Mercedes-Benz 300 SEL 6.8 AMG on the Fleet Flyer box truck. Um, they've done this Mercedes in the premium of course, the red one. So this would be a nice addition to that in this lovely yellow colour. Box truck is very bland, no graphics, just the yellow banding along the bottom there. But I certainly will display the Mercedes car. That's a card out. So pretty good box this actually. And the repeat set is the Nissan Silvia. And I do believe this is quite a popular set, so that's pretty smart. What I will do quickly in these videos is just run through my favourites from the set. Um, I really like the Mercedes, but not so much the truck, so that's in third. In second, the Nissan Silvia. Um, but my favourite from the box is the Ford Galaxy. Predominantly it's the Galaxy I like. But the truck is one of the better trucks that I believe Hot Wheels do. In my opinion at least. So that's my favourite from the box. Um, what I'm going to do next is opening, open a Johnny Lightning. And this is Muscle Cars USA 2021 Release 2 and it's version B. Still like my Johnny Lightnings. Got quite a few, my racks are full so I'm having to unfortunately leave them in boxes at the moment. And the first one out is this AMC Javelin AMX. Um, now I believe these are all the muscle cars as we know from the box and their class of 1971. Um, they have ramped up the numbers on these Johnny Lightning 7298 which is an awful lot especially for this cast in which I do not rate it's in mustard yellow but not very keen unfortunately on this one 
next one is the 71 Buick GSX and that says Lime Miss Polly and this must mean it's a chase or white lightning. Um, now I've seen these quite often and I've got a couple of white lightnings and they do quite often come with white tyres and white detail. We've got a white body but gold wheels and gold interior so I'm um, not sure how that differs from the standard release. I may have to pick up the green one in this as well if I'm able to because it's quite like it's quite nice to get a chase version but I probably prefer the standard release to be fair. Next one out is the Chevy Chevelle SS454 in tuxedo black and that is quite nice with the white stripe in there. They've done a lot of these Chevelles but um, I do like Um, Plymouth Cuda convertible in Winchester grey. A little bit bland for me. I'm not the biggest fan of the Cudas and I don't really like the convertibles too much. So, not so impressed with that one personally. This is quite nice, it's the Fortarina Cobra in Wimbledon White. Black hood, not too bad. I prefer that green on the card art, I must admit. And the final one, which I do like this colour. It's the Plymouth GTX in tall red. It does look more of an orangey red, so um, I do like my orange cars. So this is pretty impressive. So yeah, do you like that? Um, I'll just put them in order very quickly. I'm pretty much going to say, well, this AMX Javelin in sixth, not too keen at all. The Plymouth Cuda in fifth. The Chevelle in fourth. Sorry, Rick, if you're watching. Um, the Chase version of the Buick in third, Torino in second, but my favourite from the box is this Plymouth GTX, really smart in the orange and I do like the detail and the wheels, just a standard finish really but that looks pretty smart so I'll just move these quickly we're going to do a matchbox opening next and this is the best of Germany assortment Mix A, 21A. Some of these matchbox main lines I like, others I'm not too keen on, but I have got quite a few friends 
and deflecting hobby that I do see so quite often I trade or swap um, so these will probably be for that purpose and there will be duplicates in this box for sure and the first one out is this Mercedes police car I mean the actual fact it's a BMW so what do I know didn't look at the picture at all first but that's not too bad really pretty nice wheels on that one second one out is the Audi TT RS Coupe in this metallic orange not too bad and that's another Audi this I like the Mercedes-Benz 220 SE from 1962 not sure if I really like those graphics on the bonnet but it's not too bad not too imposing really yeah that's okay and that's another BMW not the Mercedes as I called it earlier and this looks pretty good the Mercedes-Benz S123 station wagon in the green so yeah do you like that one and there's another 220SE and this looks pretty smart as well it's the VW Golf GTI in metallic purple lovely colour and that is a pretty decent model so yeah not too bad a box this in actual fact and there's another one so yeah pretty impressive and the final one in the box is a Mercedes-Benz G500 not so keen on these ones we'll have a look at the back of the card but it looks okay in the blue so yeah pretty impressed really with this box overall um, very quickly I'll put them in order of my preference I'm going to say the G-Wagon in how many have we got in the box six one so we say that in sixth in fifth the Audi TT um, fourth the BMW police car in third the estate or station wagon these do not want to stand up unfortunately um, I'm going to say the 220 SE in the second but I'm not always keen on the modern castings but this Golf GTI looks pretty smart so that is my favourite from the box the Golf GTI Right, um, next one is green light. Now, this has been out a while, I know, and a lot of you would have seen these, but from what I can see or I've seen of them, they look pretty impressive. So, this is the California Lowriders Series 1 from green light, and 
first one out is this 85 Chevrolet Caprice in gold. And that looks smart. I think they will be popular, these low riders. Um, the 63 Chevy Impala in metallic green. All the card art is the same for these. Pretty good. And we've got the 73 Cadillac Coupe de Ville in this sort of teal metallic colour with the white roof, which looks pretty impressive. Another Cadillac Coupe de Ville, but this one is also 1973. But this time we've got black. The gold wheels. Pretty nice. 87 Chevy Caprice. The black and blue and silver pinstriping. A lot of pinstriping on that. And the final one out. And that is really impressive. The Chevy Impala from 1964. That's pretty beautiful. So I'm going to put these in order and preference again very quickly. Um, I'm going to say the black Caprice in sixth, the black Coupe de Ville in fifth, the the gold Caprice in fourth, the Impala, which is nice in the green in third, the teal Caddy Coupe de Ville in second, but definitely my favourite from this box is the 64 Chevy Impala, really impressive. Love that colour scheme. So that's the low rider set and as I said earlier I think that's going to be a really popular series. So looking forward to the second set of those when they're released. Um, just wait for this to focus. Next we've got M2. This is the penultimate box. As I said about Johnny Lightning, I still really like my M2s, even though they do have quality control issues, but it doesn't really affect the way that I like them because when they're sitting in the cabinet for the ones that I can get on display they look perfectly fine. Uh, this is the 1988 Ford Mustang GT in black with the grey bottom edge. Not too bad, not my favourite casting. Second one out is this Dodge Charger Super B from 71. Again in a sort of a grey blue colour. They've done an awful lot of these. I've got quite a few. Um, I don't like to display a lot of 
duplicates in the cabinet that are just different colours. This I do like. I think again because of the colour it really looks striking. The 1974 Torino Cobra. It's really nice orange. Yeah, pretty impressed with that one. These are tight fit quite often. It's Detroit Muscle series. I'll just add to the suspense by not letting you see the other two. Um, the Chevy Camaro I Rock Z 1985 in red. Not too bad. Again, like the earlier Mustang, I'm not a big fan of these Camaro High Rocks. And we've got a Cuda. And this is similar to the Johnny Lightning we opened earlier. That was the Cabriolet. This one does look better, but. Again, this has been done so many times, this casting. So, not the best M2 box I've opened. And I do like the Judge, and because I like it, I know how many I've got. So this again has been done an awful lot of times. And I would say this colour is not great. This sort of burgundy brown colour so a little bit disappointing here we go the Detroit Muscle box um, well, I haven't got an awful lot of favourites in this box so um, well I'm going to put the CUDA in I'm going to put the Cuda in 6th, the Super B in 5th, the Mustang GT in 4th, the Judge in 3rd, the IROC Camaro, although I'm not keen, it's sort of second best of the bunch. But my favourite is definitely the Cobra. Torino Cobra in this really nice orange colour. So, without a doubt, that's my favourite. Um, we've got one more box to go. We're on 23 minutes just over. So... Um, hopefully this last box won't take too long. It is a mixed box. I do know that. It's a, quite a bit bigger, the box. Um, there are some Maisto muscle machines enclosed along with some other bits and pieces. I do know. Got some paper at the top and the first one is from Greenlight Acme and this I do remember ordering because I like the colour scheme again similar to the team transport I tend to like the cars but I'm not so keen on these ramp trucks which they've done an awful lot of these but the uh, Trans Am Camaro in the blue with the white stripes there looks really smart. It is a nice colour scheme and this ramp truck is probably one of the better ones they've done from the point of view of colour. But really impressed with the Camaro. And next one out got this, it's the Chevy Cheyenne Super 10 with this really nice 
Jaws or Shark's Mouth I should say Teeth logo which I do like and this is the matte green version Major the other one is the Captain so really impressed with that one Yeah, please we've got that one. And here we've got the 1980 Datsun 280ZX. And this is from the Tokyo Mod Series Maisto Design. Too bad. Quite lightweight these. So quite toyy. And we've got another Datsun. This time it's the 240Z from 1972 in this purple colour. Looks pretty impressive with the gold trim around the wheels there. I don't think they're to everybody's liking these um, modern muscle machines or modern in the sense of Maisto releases as opposed to the fun lines that were done in the early 2000s but they're a novelty item really we've got a Shelby Daytona Coupe 1965 this metallic blue again not too bad um, that is the captain version So yeah, really pleased to have got the pair of those. And it's the Chevy Nomad Gasser. It's the Mad Wagon. We've got the 1970 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser in green. The Chevy Camaro from 71 in the Advan livery. Do quite like this one. Don't think there's too many left. 33 Ford three window coupe in green. Bad. And we've got a truck set. few of these Ford Model A's. Not too bad. I don't collect a lot of these truck sets. Um, just the fact they are a little bit toy as I've said before. But I did quite like the look of this one so I thought I would order it. And 
these that is it yeah we've got an empty box um not too sure about showing my favorites well you know i love the the chevy cheyennes um i really like that so pretty impressed with that one um that truck set isn't of course anywhere as nice as the Acme green light one uh, the four window three window coupe not bad ish Cobra is pretty smart the camera's collapsing on the tripod um, I'm not too keen on this 280 ZX at all to be fair and now this 240Z is much better. I do quite like the purple colour, although it looks blue on the screen, it is purple. The Vista Cruiser, not bad in the green, it wouldn't go too mad for that one. I think this is my second favourite from these muscle machines. It's the Camaro Advan, but I think my favourite is going to be the Chevy Nomad Gasser. I've said on numerous occasions I like gassers, so that will go on display somewhere. So that's it. Um, we're on 33 minutes. Everything's open, so it just leaves off really by saying everyone take care um, I'll be back with another video in the next few weeks or so um, so I'll just say bye for now